All right, in our last video, we talked about Awaken PoE Trade, how to get it set up, installed, how to start using it. In this video, we are gonna show you how to use it a little more in depth. We're gonna show you how to price difficult items. So we're gonna start on a couple of my items here. Now with this helm, if I was to price all these mods, I would not get results. So even just, just these mods. There's one that I have up, ironically enough. But what you're gonna do in something like this, you're gonna price just the key mods. So the key mods on this, we know because we've crafted a lot of them. And if you're somebody playing this build, you know the most important mods, which would be power charge and the nearby. And we're gonna see what those mods alone sell for. And you would basically go through them manually until you have a general idea of what it's worth. Now, if it's something that doesn't really have much online, so with these gloves here, the special mod is the temple mod, which is the cold res and the damage against chilled enemies. And if we go too specific on this, we're not gonna find anything. So we take that mod, we take the life, we take the resistance. And in general, don't ever really search for the implicits. You're not going to find them and they don't always add that much value. But if we were to check these, there's no results. And so one thing I didn't show in the last video is when you mouse over online, you can change the league. You could change currency type, time posted. What we're going to do here is we're going to click offline and online. And we notice there's still no results. So the next plan from here would be to turn off the AOE. We could also reduce the resistance a little bit. Do that, reduce the life a little bit. And now there's a lot of them. So let's go ahead and set this back to online. And we can see there's still 161 results. We don't want to dig through 100, 161 results. So we're going to go ahead and raise this res back up. 46 results, only four showing. So we're gonna click that arrow to open it up. And we're gonna see that ours is unnerve and exposure. And that's the same mods there. This doesn't have plus two AOE or an open prefix. So ours is worth a good bit more than that. And none of those have the AOE. So in this case, ours pretty much beats all of these. So what I would do is I would just start this high. I would put this up at, you know, 30 to 50 divines, give it a couple days, especially if it's on a weekend, mid season, early season weekends, not as critical, but once you're like past mid season, a lot of your sales are going to happen on the weekend. So try to try to time your price cuts and, you know, you're testing of big items markets around the weekend and you're going to be more successful. So we would start that high and we would slowly drop it. And it would pretty certainly sell by the time it hit 20, but we would probably get more. Now, on a more complicated item like these boots, these boots have elevated tailwind, elevated onslaught, then they have elusive, double movement, and the decks. We cannot price nearly all of these mods. In fact, we're not even going to be able to price the elevated mods on this, probably. So let's just check the life, Tailwind Onslaught Elusive. Two results. So this one has Intel instead of Dex. That one has Intel instead of Dex. And what you would have to do on something like this, if you had decks, is you would price this without checking the box for the elevated mods and you would manually look through them. It's slow, it's tedious, but in a lot of cases with specific rares and specific combinations, that's pretty much the only way to price it because you're not gonna find anything exact. Always make sure you check offline. And if, if you can't find anything even offline, you can check standard, but take it with a grain of salt. 
standard is a lot more expensive. It's a lot, it's pretty skewed, but at least it can tell you if something is worthless or if there's a couple and they're super expensive. You can kind of get an idea, but I wouldn't base your value on what standard is. And yeah, if you have more questions on how to price items, there's lots of tricky items, uh, lots of helpful people. I'm glad to help. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful. Any questions, come by the stream and ask. Links are below.